Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to read my least favorite scene of this play, but it is important because William Shakespeare wanted us to see these gentlemen break down. And when I say gentlemen, I say that term loosely. Of course, we're talking about Brutus and Cassius, uh, two murderers. They, they were part of a conspiracy which killed somebody from behind, stabbed him in the back, as a matter of fact. Um, I believe they are sensing their end coming, which is part of the problem that why they have this little argument. So let's see what happens. Remember, um, when they first, they sent their servants at first to talk to each other, which is crazy. They don't have much time. They've got to plan this battle. Um, and then when the first Cassius first sees Brutus, he just starts yelling at him. And Brutus is like, dude, calm down. We're in front of our armies. Let's go into the tent. They get everybody away. And that's where we start our scene act for scene three. And Cassius right away, starts off by yelling at Brutus. He says, that you have wronged me doth appear in this. You have condemned and noted Lucius Pella for taking bribes here of the Sardians, wherein my letters praying on his side because I knew the man was slighted off. Okay, so he's angry because Brutus sometime yesterday or today condemned this guy Lucius Pella, who happens to be Cassius's boy, for doing what? For taking bribes here, for... for, for I don't know, he's taking bribes. He was accepting money for, for doing whatever he wanted to do for people. And, and Cassius asked Brutus to let this man go. And Brutus said no. Now, think about this. We know Brutus is Mr. Honor. He's not going to allow somebody in any, either his army or Cassius's army, one that he's associated with, to do any of these crimes, to accept bribes. So I'm surprised Cassius would even have asked him. But I guess he figured since they're boys, since they're generals, that he would do him that favor. And he did not. And how does Brutus answer? He says, you wronged yourself to write in such a case, which is exactly what I expected him to say. He's like, dude, you should have known. I would have said no for that. I don't allow people to take bribes. And Cassius says, in such a time as this, it is not me that every nice offense should bear his comment. And Cassius says, dude, it's war. All right, sometimes you got to do what you got to do during war. And Brutus says, let me tell you, Cassius, you yourself are much condemned to have an itching palm to sell and mark your, your gold for your offices for gold to undeservers. Oh, snap. Brutus, <laughs> Cassius just said, it's war, all right? Let the guy go. And Brutus says, you know what? Not even talking about him. You take bribes sometime, Cassius, and I don't like that. And Cassius says, I, an itching palm? You know that you are Brutus that speaks this, or by the gods this speech, where else you are last. So he just said, you have an itching palm. You accept bribes as well. And Cassius says, dude, you're lucky I'm not just going to mess you up right now. I'm not going to beat you up, stab you, or kill you right now for talking about that Neo that way. And Brutus says, the name of Cassius honors this corruption. And chastisement doth therefore hide his head. And Cassius says, <laughs> and Brutus is just like, what? You don't like me chastising you for what you do wrong? And Cassius says, chastisement? What? <laughs> You're going to chastise me? And Brutus says, remember March. The Ides of March, remember, did not great Julius bleed for justice's sake. And Brutus starts off by saying, that's why I killed Caesar, is so that we don't have people doing illegal stuff. What villain touched his body that did stab not for justice? What? Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. I think Brutus is realizing now he has gotten into a conspiracy with bad people, people who accept bribes. And think about that. If you're going to join a crew of people and you're an honest guy and they're all criminals who accept bribes and pay people off and stuff like that, well, yeah, that's not going to work out very well. And Brutus didn't think this out too good, did he? So here he is. I think he's starting to realize this now. Here's the problem, though. Way too late, right? So even if he is wrong and, and he realizes that Cassius is evil, uh, at this point, he should at least survive the battles with Anthony. And you know, he needs Cassius as his, as his buddy. He needs an ally. He needs a second army because there's two armies coming after his right now. Let's see. What shall one of us that struck the four men? Uh, what? Shall us that struck the foremost man of all this world, but for supporting robbers, shall we now contaminate our fingers with base bribes and sell the mighty space of our large honors for so much trash as may be grasped thus? I had rather be a dog and bay at the moon than be such a Roman. And Brutus is like, bro, no, I'm not gonna hang. I'm, I'm not gonna let you sell 
Senate seats and, and government positions. And Cassius says, Brutus, don't bait me. I will not endure it. You forget yourself to hedge me in. I am a soldier. I am older and practiced, able than yourself to make conditions. Now notice, Cassius does not say it's not true. He says, bro, you better watch out. I'm a better soldier than you and I'm older. He just said that. He said, listen again. I am a soldier, I am older in practice, abler than yourself to make conditions. And Brutus says, go to, you are not Cassius. And Cassius says, I am. And Brutus says, I say you are not. So um, basically he just said, I'm better than you. And Brutus said, am not. And Cassius said, am too. And Brutus said, am not. And Cassius just said, urge me, or Cassius says, urge me no more. I shall forget myself, have mind upon your health, tempt me no farther. So now, uh, he says, if you say one more word about me, I'm going to I'm going to hurt you. Um, by the way, this is the second or third time he said this. Now let's continue. Brutus says, away, slight man. <laughs> He's like, go away, little man. And Cassius says, is it possible? Which is funny because he just said, if you say one more thing about me, I'm going to mess you up. And Brutus said, go away, little man. And Cassius says, is it possible? And Brutus says, hear me for I will speak. Must I give way and room to your rash collar? Shall I be frightened when a madman stares? And Brutus is like, dude, really? You're, do I have to listen to you when, you when you act like this? And Cassius says, oh, you gods, you gods, must I endure all of this? Brutus says, oh, this, I am more. Fret till your proud heart breaks. Go show your slaves how choleric you are and make your bondmen tremble. Must I budge? Must I observe you? Must I stand and crouch under your testy humor? By the gods, you shall digest the venom of your spleen, though, do, though it do split you. For from this day forth, I will use you for my mirth, yea, my laughter, when you are waspish. OMG. Brutus just said to him, I've got nothing to worry about from you, please. In fact, from this day forward, whenever you act like this, I'm just going to, what did he just say? I'm just going to uh, use you for my mirth, yay, for my laughter. I'm just going to laugh at you from now on because you're a joke to me, Cassius. And Ca Cassius says, is it come to this? And Brutus says, you say you are a better soldier. Let it appear so. Make your vaunting true. See, Brutus finally said, you said it. You, you said you could beat me up. Bring it, let's go. And it shall please me well. For mine own part, I shall be glad to learn of noble men. And Cassius says, you wrong me every way. You wrong me, Brutus. I said I'm an elder soldier, not a better. Did I say better? <laughs> so Br Brutus said, come on, let's go. You said you were an older and better soldier. Let's see it, bro. Let's fight. And Cassius said, you're a... <laughs> You're a liar. I never said that. I said I was older. I didn't say I was better. Actually, he did. He said he was abler. Um, and Brutus says, if you did, I care not. Um, and Cassius says, when Caesar lived, he durst not have moved me. <laughs> and Cassius says, when Caesar was alive, he never would have talked to me, to me like this. And listen to Brutus's response. He says, peace, peace. You durst know something. He said, peace, peace. You durst not so have tempted him. And he, his response is quite good. He says, you never would have talked to Caesar like this, bro, because Caesar would have killed you in a second. You're lucky I'm not. And Cassius says, I durst not? No. What? Durst not tempt him? For your life, you durst not. I do not presume. To, he says, do not presume too much upon my love. I may do that. I shall be sorry for. So Cassius says for the fourth or fifth time now said, if you do, if you say something again, I might hurt you. And Brutus says, you already have done that. You should be sorry for. There is no terror, Cassius, in your threats. For I'm so armed and strong. I'm sorry. For I am armed so strong and honesty that they pass by me like the wind. Which I respect not. I did send to you for certain sums of gold, which you denied me. For I can raise no money by vile means. By heaven, I had rather coin my heart and drop my blood for drachmas than to wring from the hands of peasants their vile trash by any indirection. Oh. Oh. Brutus is a hypocrite. Did you hear that? He says, you know what, dude? I'm not worried about you. Basically, he said, you're a punk, Cassius. He said, but you know what? I'm kind of mad at you too, Cassius, because I asked for gold from you so I could pay my soldiers because I won't take bribes like you will. And you told me, no, you didn't give me any of your gold. So I couldn't pay my soldiers because as you know, I won't take bribes. But what the heck? He won't take bribes? 
but he will use the money that other people take bribes. So it's like this. It's like somebody robbing a bank and somebody saying, I'm not robbing a bank. That's wrong. And then when they get home with all the money, they're like, dude, give me half of that money. I need it. Wait, what? I thought robbing a bank was wrong. See, apparently Brutus isn't as honorable as he pretends. Let's continue. I did send to you for gold to pay my legions, which you denied me. Was that done like Cassius? Should I have answered, K is Cassius so? When Marcus Brutus grows so covetous to lock such rascal counters from his friends, be ready, gods, with all your thunderbolts. Dash him to pieces. And Cassius says, I denied you not. Brutus says, you did. And Cassius says, I did not. He was but a fool that brought my answer back. Oh, snap. Cassius, wow. Cassius really has no honor of any kind. He just said, I didn't tell you no for your money. And Brutus says, yeah, you did. And Cassius says, yeah, that's wrong. The messenger gave the wrong message. Now, do you think a, a slave or a servant for Cassius would go and give the wrong message, the absolute wrong message, and survive? The answer is, of course not. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't get that wrong. Cassius just doesn't want to lie. I mean, I'm sorry. Cassius has to lie. He doesn't want to say the truth. He doesn't want to say, that's right, Brutus. I did deny you. He's afraid of Brutus too. How are you going to fight a battle with this guy? Listen, Brutus hath rived my heart. A friend should bear his friend's infirmities, but Brutus makes mine greater than they are. And Cassius says, you're a really bad friend, man. And Brutus says, I do not till you practice them on me. And Cassius says, you love me not. And Brutus says, I do not like your faults. And Cassius says, a friendly eye could never see such faults. And Cassius says, you're not really my friend. And Brutus said, well, I don't like all the things you do wrong. And Cassius said, well, if we were friends, you would look past all those things. And Brutus said, a flatterers would not, though they do appear as huge and as, as huge as high Olympus. And he says, dude, you've got a lot of faults. And Cassius says, come, Anthony, and young Octavius, come. Revenge yourselves alone on Cassius, for Cassius is a weary of the world. So basically, he just looked around and he said, oh, my friend doesn't love me anymore. Just come and kill me, guys, because it's all over. Hated by one he loves, braved by his brother, checked like a bondman, all his faults observed, set in a notebook, learned and conned by rote, to cast into my teeth. Oh, I could weep my spirit from mine eyes. There is my dagger. He offers his dagger to Brutus. So now he goes, here, you don't love me? Then just kill me, man. Just kill me. I'm done with it all. May I remind you, these two gentlemen are supposed to leave two armies. Again, the gentleman term is, is loose. They're supposed to lead these two armies against two other armies tomorrow. And this is how they spend their time planning. Let's continue. He offers his dagger to Brutus. And here my naked breast within a heart dearer than Pluto's mind, richer than gold. If that thou beest a Roman, take it forth. I that denied thee gold will give my heart. Look, he just admitted it. He said, I that denied thee gold will give my heart. So he did deny his gold. Strike as thou did at Caesar, for I know when thou didst hate him worse, thou loved him better than ever thou lovest Cassius. He just said, you love Caesar more than you love me. And Brutus says, sheathe your dagger. Be angry when you will, it shall have scope. Do what you will, dishonor shall be humor. Oh, Cassius, you are yoked with a lamb that carries anger as the flint bears fire, who much enforced shows a hasty spark and straight is cold again. He says, dude, put your dagger away. You're always so emotional. You get all emotional, man. Just, just calm down. Cassius says, Hath Cassius lived to be but mirth and laughter to his Brutus when grief and blood ill-tempered vexeth him? And he says, are you just going to laugh at me from now on? And Brutus says, when I spoke that, I was ill-tempered too. And Brutus says, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. And Cassius says, do you confess so much? Give me your hand. And Brutus says, and my heart too. So they clasp hands. Oh my God, that was 131 two. It was 132 lines that we heard that. And they end up by, I love you, brother. I love you too. So we're okay. Can we plan for the war now? Let's see. Okay. Oh, Brutus, what's the matter? Have not you love enough to bear with me when that rash humor which my mother gave me makes me forgetful? And Brutus says, yes, Cassius. And from henceforth, when you are over earnest with your Brutus, he'll think your mother chides and leave you so. OMG. Cassius just said, ah, I'm sorry. Are you sure you'll be able to okay? We'll be okay. And Brutus said, from now on, if we ever have a fight like this, I'll know. We're just, you know, we'll be fine. We're buddies. 
Enter a poet, followed by Lucilius, Titinius, and Lucius. Poet, let me go in to see the generals. There is some grudge between them. Tis not meet they be alone. Now that's ironic. The poet says, let me get in there. I'm worried that, you know, they might get into a kind of fight. <laughs> not these generals. I don't think these guys would ever get into a fight. Lucilius, you shall not come to them. Poet, nothing but death shall stay me. Cassius, how now? What's the matter? For shame, you generals, what do you mean? Love and be friends as too much men, such men should be. For I've seen more years, I'm sure, than ye. Oh, notice the poet rhymes. Very nice. One time. Cassius, ha ha. How vilely doth this cynic rhyme. Brutus, get you hence, sir, saucy fellow hence. Cassius, bear with him, Brutus. It is his fashion. Brutus, I'll know his humor when he knows his time. What should the wars do with these jigging fools? Companion, hence. So a poet comes in and he's like rhyming. Are you guys okay? And Brewitt's like, get him out of here. We're supposed to be generals here. It's like, yeah, dude. I mean, really? Um, all right, away. Be gone. Be gone. All right. The poet exits. Brutus says, Lucilius and Titinius, bid the commanders prepare to lodge their companies tonight. And Cassius says, and come yourselves and bring Masala with you immediately to us. Okay. It's finally time for some battle talk, I hope. Lucilius and Titinius exit. Brutus, Lucius, a bowl of wine. Lucius exits. Cassius, I did not think you could have been so angry. Oh, Cassius, I am sick of many. <laughs> so after their battle, Cassius just looked at his friend and was like, I've never seen you so mad. And Brutus says, and this is crazy. What is what Brutus says? He says, oh, Cassius, I am sick of many griefs. And Brutus says, you don't know the half of it. I've got a problem. And Cassius says, of your philosophy, you make no use if you give place to accidental evils. Basically, just a long story short, Cassius was just pointing out that Brutus is a Stoic. He follows Stoicism, and Stoics believe that you should not show. I mean, this is just a nutshell. I'm not, I don't know exactly what one is, but I know in a nutshell that the Stoic believes you shouldn't show much or any emotion of any kind, no matter what. So when you're angry, you should stay calm. When you're really, really sad, you should stay calm. When you're happy, you should stay calm. When something's funny, you should stay calm. You should just be calm all the time. Brutus is a Stoic, right? He follows that philosophy. And Cassius just said, wow, that philosophy, you really, you know, you really do follow that. And Brutus says, no man bear sorrow better. Portia is dead. Wait a minute, stop. So Cassius just said, I'm surprised you didn't just kill me right there. And Brutus is like, ah, don't worry about it, man. That's how I roll. And Cassius is like, well, you really do it well. And he goes, you don't know the half of it. My wife is dead. And Cassius says, what? Portia? And Brutus says, yeah, she's dead. So, guys, this entire time that they've had this argument, Brutus has known, he got the information before the argument, that his wife died. Now, how does his wife die? We don't know. We're going to find out in a little while. There are a couple of people that think that maybe she died from, like, blood loss from stabbing herself. I don't know. Let's wait and see. We might find out. Mm -hmm, I know, but let's wait and see. But the, 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 the point is, this man's wife just died. He never mentioned it. He didn't cry, nothing. He's just like, oh, yeah, by the way, my wife died. Pfft. And Cassius says, ha, Portia? And Brutus says, yeah, she's dead. And Ca Cassius says, how escaped I killing when I crossed you so? And he says, I'm surprised you didn't kill me a minute ago. Oh, insupportable and touching loss upon what sickness? And Cassius is like, oh, my goodness, what happened, dude? And Brutus says, impatient of my absence. And grief that young Octavius with Mark Anthony have made themselves so strong, for with her death that tidings came, with this she fell distract, and that tendance absent, she swallowed fire, and died so? Even so. Oh, you immortal gods! So now, check this out. Who's the one who's reacting crazy, you know? Like it's a big deal. Like this man's wife just died. Not the man whose wife just died. The other man. Cassius is like, oh my God. Oh my God. Now she swallowed fire. She probably took poison. And they said, um, impatient of my absence and grief that Octavius with Mark Anthony have made themselves so strong for with her death that tidings came. So she was worried that I was going to die. So she killed herself. She was so worried about me. She killed herself. And that's it. She's dead. Um, and he's still not very, like, emotional about the fact that his wife just died. I mean, OMG, he should be on the ground crying right now. He shouldn't be leading any armies. I mean, hello, take this chair. Are you okay? Need a hug, buddy? Um, you know, you want to talk about anything? Something. But nothing. He does nothing because he's a stoic, remember. Um, ladies and gentlemen. We are, no, let's go. I want to go up to 187. Um, okay. Oh, you immortal gods. Okay. Enter Lucius with wine and papers. And Brutus says, speak no more of her. Give me a bowl of wine. In this, I bury all unkindness, guys. And Brutus says, dude, I don't want to hear about it anymore. 
and he drinks. And Cassius says, my heart is thirsty for that noble pledge. Fill Lucius till wine overswills the cup. I cannot drink too much of Brutus's love. Okay. Um, he drinks, Lucius exit, enter Titanius in the sala. All right, time for some war talk, OMG. Um, we'll see if that's what happens when we pick it up from here tomorrow. Let's finish the scene in uh, tomorrow. Today we are done with assignment number 14. Um, we are in the middle of act four, scene three. Tomorrow we will finish act four, scene three. They will finish their battle talks. And then act five, the battles will happen. We will see who, which armies are victorious. Although I've told you already who I would bet on. Um, but let's wait and see. Anything can happen. Um, ladies and gentlemen, great job as usual. Have a lovely day.